So thoughts on Deontay Wilder v. Luis Ortiz. I think this is a very interesting fight and I think both fighters have a chance of winning. Deontay Wilder's style, well Deontay Wilder's best chance is to make this an outside fight where he uses his jab and he lines up the right hand, which he can do. I think he's very capable of doing it. He's able to keep Luis Ortiz on the outside and line up the right hand and land it on Luis Ortiz and when Deontay Wilder lands the right hand often it only takes once for him to land and the fight is over or the fight is to a point where the opponent is going to be stopped very shortly after. Luis Ortiz on the other hand needs to do fight opposite to um, Deontay Wilder. He needs to get on the inside and he needs to unleash short compact shots and I think that Deontay Wilder isn't a great inside fighter. And I'll show you why. I think that Deontay Wilder, when he gets on the inside, he's actually very uncomfortable. And Deontay Wilder cannot afford to make mistakes that he was making against Chris Ariola when he fights Luis Ortiz. So when he gets on the inside against Chris Ariola, he opts to allow Chris Ariola to let off to let shots go. So looking at this footage here against Chris Ariola on the inside. So he's on the inside with Chris Ariola and he's getting hit. I seriously don't recommend that he allows Dion, um, Luis Ortiz to get inside and unleash work on him like that. Because as you can see in this, and I know his opponent is Daniel Martz, but when Luis Ortiz gets inside... He's looking for the body shot right here, Luis Ortiz. You know, when he gets in, when Luis Ortiz gets inside like that, he's going to be unleashing body shots, accurate body shots, and body shots are going to hurt like that. So I seriously hope that Deontay Wilder doesn't plan on fighting this way against Luis Ortiz. I seriously hope he doesn't plan on allowing, one, allowing Luis Ortiz to close the distance. And then two, allowing this to happen. Uh, allowing Luis Ortiz to close the distance without a plan. And then getting, in, getting on the inside. Allowing Luis Ortiz to get inside without a plan. And then letting Luis Ortiz hit the body like that. Because Luis Ortiz isn't just going to throw random body shots. Luis Ortiz is very accurate with his shots. And as you can see further in this video here. He's going to be looking for the body. And because he's the much shorter fighter, about six foot one inch tall, he is going to be looking for the body. So he's looking for it right there. And he's very precise, Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz is technically a, he's more of a textbook fighter than Deontay Wilder. But when he gets on the inside, he's going to look to close the distance like he does there and then he's going to unleash body shots like that and Deontay Wilder really does not need to be here letting Chris Aria letting Luis Ortiz get those body shots off that would be a mistake okay so moving on from that moving on from that Luis Ortiz, I've noticed, is very susceptible to the right hand. He's very susceptible to the overhand right. So, against Deontay Wilder, this will be a mistake, of course. And I'm going to show something here. Luis Ortiz here against David Allen. And I know it's David Allen, but have a look at the way he gets caught here. See that there, that right hand he got caught by? Watch that again, because I know I don't know if the graphics went a bit funny there. We're having a look at this right hand there. Um one more time. That overhand right that Luis Ortiz did not see coming. There you go. 
Now let's hope that the graphics are watchable for the next bit because he gets caught again seconds later. Think it's coming there you go again he gets caught by the right hand again and he actually got hurt there he didn't really show it but he got hurt he got hurt there Luis Ortiz now against Deontay Wilder getting caught like that is going to be a mistake and I'll show you why Deontay Wilder if he catches Luis Ortiz with the right hand that's what's going to happen or well, that's what could happen Luis Ortiz is susceptible to an overhand right. And if Deontay Wilder can time Luis Ortiz, then I think that it could be very dangerous for Luis Ortiz. Let me see if they get the replay. There you go. Uh, I know this is a headbutt, but look at the angles. Luis Ortiz is very susceptible to an overhand right. So... I've looked at a couple things. I think that Wilder needs to keep the fight on the outside, on the front foot, and if he if if he you know he can keep it, he can keep the fight on the outside on the front foot, using his jab to hurt and keep Luis Ortiz at range and line up the right hand straight. If Luis Ortiz comes in clumsy on the inside, if Luis Ortiz tries to close the range in a clumsy way, and maybe throws out a lazy jab. Then, then Deontay Wilder can time an overhand right, which Luis Ortiz is susceptible to. I must say that I think that Deontay Wilder is going to win this fight. I think he's got the athletic advantage, and I've seen Luis Ortiz not take punches very well. Further to that, Luis Ortiz may be quite a bit older. Luis Ortiz has a chance. He's very technical, and he's got the veteran knowledge. He's got veteran tactics in there. But I think Deontay Wilder's athleticism, his power... I think his power is athleticism and I think that he may be stronger than Luis Ortiz as well. Whereas Luis Ortiz, I think he's got the technical refinement. I think he's got the punch accuracy and I think he's got the punch selection um, to possibly cause Deontay Wilder trouble. He's going to have to come on the inside against Deontay Wilder. And I think that because he looks to be not the most athletic, that his... When he tries to close the range, it may be quite clumsy, it may be quite slow, and it may be quite easy to see and may not be very sudden. Like Mike Tyson closing the range suddenly, I don't know if Luis Ortiz can do that. In fact, I don't think Luis Ortiz can do that. But that's a quick analysis. That That's some analysis there. And I'll be back. Peace. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,